right now, and she thought that getting stuck in Puerto Rico because she was too big to fly would be a bad idea, so it's just me. Um, how do I switch to the next slide? Um, so, our, what we did was a survey. Um, we just graduated from library school in August of last year, and as I'm sure all of you are aware, the market is absolutely terrible right now for library school graduates. Um, so we had a lot of personal interest in finding out how to get hired just for our own personal benefit. And also, you know, we're librarians, we like helping people, so we wanted to get some hard data to help us um, get hired and help other people get hired. Um, something we found though, um, doing the literature review to prepare for our survey was that although there's tons of information out there on how to write a good resume, how to write a good cover letter, once you actually got to the interview stage, there wasn't that much information out there. Um, and not only was there not much information on the interview part, uh, there also hadn't really been any official published information out there on what to do now that things have changed because of the recession. I mean, there was anecdotal stuff and blog posts and that sort of thing, um, but nothing that had been really published in a journal or anything. So we really wanted to address that gap in the literature. So what we did was we wrote up a survey. It was about 22 questions, um, and we disseminated it through multiple listserv lists. Um, our goal intended audience was public and academic librarians who had served on hiring committees for entry-level librarians since the recession had started. So we had a very targeted, focused um, group of people that we were hoping to hear from because these were the people who were going to be hiring us and hiring the people um, who were going to be reading our paper. Um, we had 430 respondents, which was well above our expectations. We were hoping for just 100, but librarians are really great and helpful people, and we just got a great um, turnout. 70% um, of them were academic, only 30% were public librarians, so, you know, 30% of 430 people is still a lot, so we thought that was still still pretty good. Um, and for our literature review, um, these are some of the things that came up um, that we found and that were also supported by um, our survey itself. Um, like you said, um, there's not much information out there on resumes and cover letters, um, or there is a lot of information out there on resumes and cover letters, but not much on interviews, and that was supported by what our survey respondents told us, um, that our people didn't um, prepare for the interview that much. Um, they wanted people to practice before they went into the interview. Um, a lot of people uh, were just walking into them blind. We heard horror stories of um, Candidates having impressive cleavage, for example, because they weren't dressed appropriately, they hadn't uh, practiced uh, responses to questions or that sort of thing. Um, so just to give you a sample, some of the questions we asked, one of the questions was, um, what's the most impressive thing a candidate has ever done in an interview? Um, and we got some really great feedback on what respondents have done that um, we wrote uh, specifically about in our paper. So hopefully people who are reading the paper can actually use these examples when they go out on job interviews. Um, show passion and excitement for this job in particular. Um, they gave all sorts of examples of people who uh, researched the research interests of the hiring committee um, and were able to ask targeted questions about things that the hiring committee members had published themselves. Um, give a great presentation, so um, have a backup in case technology falls through, have a portfolio of great work. Um, they also gave advice for um, new librarians, since so many of us, and one of the biggest problems with this job market is that we're competing against people who have decades of experience, you know, who are competing for the same entry-level jobs as us. Um, and so the things that they advised us to do were uh, to be enthusiastic, you know, that's supposed to be one of our best traits as new librarians is that we're, you know, full of energy and we're just so excited about the job um, and just to show that enthusiasm. Be able to connect our experience and skills to the position. A lot of us are coming from non-library backgrounds, uh, you know, maybe work in retail, for example, customer service experiences, and those are still relevant to library work, but we have to connect the dots for the hiring committee. Um, if you don't have that much experience um, actually working in libraries, get it somehow, um, like by volunteering or through internships, and showcase your technology skills. Well, it's not true that every new librarian is going to be, you know, an avid Twitter user, for example. That's kind of the stereotype that we have, and that's something that a lot of libraries are looking for. Um, so go ahead and showcase that. Thanks.